Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Megs and this is The Painted Lip. I wanted to preface this video in my decluttering series um, because I, I wanted to explain why I feel uh, for me right now it's important to to look at my makeup collection and declutter it. One, I feel like it's January and I think people are very motivated to, to be a little healthier. And that includes physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, whatever the catalyst to, to spur on um, a healthier lifestyle, it's great. And for me, this was the good first step. This is important for me to um, make a change internally uh, as well as externally. Second reason is that I've been finding lately I almost feel this internal tension when there's a lot of sensory stuff coming at me. My philosophy is that your house is very much representative of how you're feeling internally and it manifests kind of like um, through being neat or messy or I want my space to be calming and tranquil and, and all those other adjectives. This is a very long intro <laughs> to this video, but I hope you enjoy and if you can relate at all to what I'm saying or to any of my videos, please hit the subscribe button down below, give me a thumbs up, constructive feedback is always welcome, get to the lip decluttering a video, which is kind of like what you want to watch, right? That's why you're here. Enjoy guys and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay guys, so let's start off with some liquid lipsticks. First we're going to have a little tea here. Yum yum. This is the Makeup Monsters liquid lipstick and I have it in the color Heavy Artillery. It's a beautiful grey color um, and it's like their older packaging. I really love this. It's just whether or not it's still good. Beautiful color. It's a really true deep dark grey. So I like the formulation, so that's going to stay around. This is from Jeffree Star. Now while I'm not a huge fan of the drama, his liquid lipsticks were actually quite pretty. And that is a gorgeous, gorgeous red. This is a red rum, and I'm keeping that. The other one I have from him is called Abused. I know this took some, took some heat, um, some flack for the name. And Abused is a blackened, navy, blue, purpley color. Really pretty too. This is a MAC Pro Longwear lip color. I don't think... It's not that old, but I have this beautiful red rum color that's very similar. So let's... We're going to get rid of that. We'll put that to the side. Or at least back to MAC it, I think. Um, next, uh, this is a NYX Liquid Suede in the color... Um, was it Stone? Yeah, Stone Fox. Let's compare that to the Heavy Artillery. This is going to move around. This is not going to dry down. Okay? So, I don't wear these, and it's very similar to Heavy Artillery, which I probably get more wear out of, so we're going to get rid of that. This is, this is however, NYX uh, Liquid Lipstick. This is their NYX Lingerie. That's pretty. Uh, I believe, what is the color? This is embellishment. It's like a mauvey, purpley color. Not my favorite formulation of liquid lipstick, but it's, it's nice. So unless I find something that's a similar color to that, that'll keep for right now. It's a maybe. Uh, these are new to my collection. This is Desert Suede. I do have three other ones. Let's see. This is a kind of a moussier texture. Well, not even moussey. I just, I love the formulation. I'm a little bit late to the bandwagon on dose of color. So this is more of a, um, a brown. Uh, I normally don't wear this kind of taupey brown color, uh, but I do like this. So Desert Suede, we're going to keep. This is a NYX lingerie in the color Honeymoon. Something similar to the Desert Suede. Let's get rid of that. Cream lipstick, another one, liquid suede and color Cherry Skies. Oh, I love the color. Really pretty, but you know what? Again, I don't wear it, and I'm always fearful of wearing these colors just because of how much they move around on my lips. So we're gonna we're gonna toss that one. Melted matte. I don't like these. I have to admit, this is um, very similar to that lingerie one. This is color Queen Bee. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if someone else would like this. So we'll donate or something. This is new. This is the new Superstay Matte Ink in the color 20 Pioneer. Beautiful, like red tone. Really yet to wear it, but it's a deeper red than the red rum. 
uh, that stain because that's fairly new. Another dose of color, this is Cold Shoulder. It's a deeper purpley, yeah, like look how gorgeous that color is. Oh, stunning. You are staying. Another Makeup Monsters. Uh, this is in the color Muddled. Yeah, Muddled. It's a pinky, grayy. Those are staying around. These are just new. These are the Kat Von D uh, Everlasting Lipstick in her, this is her holiday collection. So these aren't going anywhere. This is the last of my Makeup Monsters. This is in the color Flutter. This is a very pinky color. Um, I found this a little hard to wear, to be honest with you, but it is a very pretty color. It doesn't make you look like that butthole <laughs> kind of um, kind of look, which I think is all too associated with lips, uh, liquid lipsticks. Another NYX lingerie. This is Lace Detail. This is nice-ish. Uh, it's a little too orangey for me, um, the, what I like. It may look nice on me, but I don't, I won't gravitate towards it. So we're going to get rid of that one. Another one of these Pro Longwears, I'm going to back to Mac those. This, uh, the Retro Matte. These are really good. This is in the color Feel So Grand. This is a beautiful formulation. And when they came out, I think they got a lot of flack, but uh, very similar to that Jeffree Star. Hmm. So we're going to keep that. Lady Be Good. I think it's still that kind of peachy, orangey color. Yeah, no, we'll back to Mac that one. Simply Smoke, this is fairly new. It's that color that I'm drawn to, a little bit deeper. It's going to be kept. This is in the color Top of Brandy. This is new too. Again, you're going to see a kind of similar color pattern here with uh, what I enjoy. So that's that one there. Really super pretty. It, this one is So Me. Very similar to Top with Brandy, but I think a little bit lighter. So this is High Drama. From what I can remember from this one, I felt like this was pretty patchy. And this one is Oh Lady. I don't think I liked this one. Yeah, I... It's, it's just not a color that I'm going to wear. It's really beautiful, but I'm going to back to Mac that one. Um, I'm going to have to try this one out because I'm not too sure. This is new from Palladio. This is the Forever and Ever Intense Lip Paint. It's new to my collection, so haven't even opened it yet. Someone gave me this as a gift. This is Monte Carlo in the Soft Matte Lip Cream. This isn't really a liquid lipstick either from NYX. Um, I haven't opened it yet, so this isn't going anywhere quite yet. This is Los Angelos. Jealous? Los Angelos, jealous. <laughs> anyway, so this is a muted ruby red. These are the lip tars. Digital. Oh, but it's like a orchid color. I already have so many that's of the same purpley color, or same red color, I should say. As I'm looking at it, I'm going color blind. So oh, these aren't even been, haven't really even been used. This is Sebastian. I think this is one of my favorite ones, but I believe I have the new stick version of it. So we'll get rid of that one. This is just a little mini Smashbox. Oh, that's pretty. We'll keep it around, see how I like it. Now that, so this is the actual Smashbox liquid lipstick. This is in the color uh, Chill Zone. And this is a beautiful formulation as well. Very similar to the MAC, actually. And it's that gray cement brownie color. I like that. You know, when I want to get my get my ghoul on. This is Chihuahua. Don't like it. We'll move that along. Okay. I've got four from Pretty Zombie. I just have to get out the get the fourth one out. Having the color Jupiter. A beautiful teal. These are nice too. They don't fully dry down. Ah! Dripping. What the hell? I might have to find a replacement for that color. I really like it because it's also an indie. It's an indie brand and I like them. Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. They're fantastic. Little zombie girl. Uh, colored, I think it's Delilah or Dahlia. Are you a drippy mess too? Burgundy brown, very wearable. Love that. For old, unfortunately, I think this one has gone bad. Uh, but this is Three Witches and it's a deep purple. I also have Potion 9, number 9. This is going to be fun to clean up after. Yay! Um, this is another, this is Haze from uh, inspiration from Jessica Haze. 
Everlasting Lipstick. Love that color. Not going anywhere. It's brand new. So it's similar to what we've already seen. Yep. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm a creature of habit. Oh, so predictable. Okay, and this is Haze 2. Uh, again, that grayish. She's known for her grayish love of it and the love of the different nuances and intensities of it. So there's that one there. So I was very fortunate this summer to go down to California twice. On my first, second trip, I went to San Diego and that's where I stayed. And while I was there, I went to the um, beauty bakery store as opposed to ordering it online. And I picked up some lip whips. Um, I picked up, as you can see, two, three, four, five. So five of them. They're really pretty. I do find that this rose gold one is actually a little hard to wear. I'm not gonna lie. It's a metallic uh, rose gold. I think I have to look, wear a specific kind of look if I want to wear that, but they're not going anywhere. So that's Rose Pose. This is, I think, Space Cake. They changed their, um, their applicator. This is Versailles, or one of their best sellers. This one is uh, with mocha. It's the, again, is that grayish. <laughs> See? A pattern. Oh my gosh, Megan. Uh, and this one is called Honey. It's kind of a pinky, peachy color. That's what those are good. A few of the Sephora. These are great. I wish, I remember they were really big and everyone loved them and then they kind of went away. I'm not really doing well on paring it down. So there's my other Pretty Zombie Potion 9. It's like a lilac -y color. I think these have gone bad, but I also want to do another video talking about, um, you know, the first time. These are beautiful. These are the Sephora, as I said, lip creams. Let's see how close this is to that teal one from Makeup, um, Pretty Zombie. Oh, it's kind of the same. A little bit darker. Um, see how this, they're not really drying down super, super dry. Um, sometimes people like that, sometimes people don't. So, anyway, back to the Sephora ones. This is in the color. What? What color are you? This is color number 29. 21 this is the metallic one in 15. I think this is from their original. So it's definitely more metallic. -y. It's a gorgeous purple. This is 13. Something mauve, I think. It's it's okay. I have it in other colors, but I'm still keeping it. Um, <laughs> 37. Oh dear God. They're all looking the same. This is color 24. It's like a blackberry. How many colors can I point out that are the same? Anyway, those aren't going anywhere. This is my first liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. This is Vampira. This is old. I don't even know if you're good anymore. Mm. Ooh, those are similar. This is a very um, brownie red kind of color. It's deep, blood-like, as what you would think the name would suggest. Vampira. Anyway, really love this formulation. Is it my favorite formulation? No. Uh, I would have to say Dose of Color is my now favorite formulation. Uh, Everlasting Liquid and the Retro Mattes, I would say, are a closed second. So, those are those ones. Do I have any more? Here's Sebastian. This is the Lip Tar. I love this color. I know it's similar to like everything else I have, but there's just something about that color I like. I don't think that's gone bad. This has a little minty. If you don't like mint, you're not gonna like these. Mm. We got a long ways to go, folks. Okay, these are my MAC. I love these. These are great when you're on the go. You don't want a lot of color. Uh, they're not super duper uber pigmented, but they give you a nice gloss. So, Sultana Patent Polish Lip Pencil. This is what they're called. So, as you can see, it's like a balmy texture. Gorgeous, not going anywhere. Uh, it's really me. I think this is kind of a nudie. That's really pretty, not going anywhere. That's fairly new. Um, clever, eh, do I like this color? Mm, eh, mm, I don't know. Um, oh, are you telling me I got both? It's really me. It's... Shut up! These, Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. This is in the color Standout. And I think I was not filming any of that. That's fantastic, great. So I'm keeping these up here. 
okay? Keeping those, just established those are going to stay. Paint thinner smelling, NYX Jumbo, Lip Pencil, and Pecan going. Bye. ColourPop. This is in the color Cookie. It's a matte. They smell kind of like vanilla Play-Doh, if Play-Doh smelled like vanilla. Uh, bye. This one is in the color Creature. Ooh. Oof, no, bye. Bullshit. You know they meant bullshit. Um, that's a black. That's nice, still creamy. Can I put up the smell? Uh, I don't know. We'll put up, uh, we'll put that to the side. Uh, there's something about that smell I just do not like. Skimpy, if this is a glossy one. I think this was a really pretty pinky. Yeah, but you know what? They look, they look the same. They look the same. They look the same. Right? I don't need it. Uh, maybe I'll do like a video. Mm, we'll keep that to the side because I want to do a video again like as a head. This is the color Wet. I think I really liked how unique this was. Yeah, let me swatch it. Yeah, because it was like this browny, purpley, mauvey kind of color. I know it's not really picking up very well, but we're keeping that one. I could put up the smell for that. This is Pitch. This is a brown matte, I want to say, with a hint of red. There's another color in the MAC that I like better. So, Marc Jacobs. I know it's a gloss. This is in the color Sugar Sugar. Sugar Sugar. Sorry. Pronounce your N letters, Megan. It's nice. I don't know why people go gaga over it, but it's nice. Just as nice as that one. These are the Max Vamplify. I have it in the color Acting on Impulse and Anything But Demure. Okay. That's me. I'm Anything But Demure. Okay. This is a tealy kind of color. It's a very liquidy lip gloss. Love it. It's not really sticky, unlike their lip glass. Uh, as you can tell, I like that kind of color. This is the other one. Let's see how similar you are to everything else I own. Okay, well, that's a, a wearable color that we'll just keep around. Um, Snob. Ooh, have you turned? Have you turned? This is a MAC lip glass. Hmm. Okay, this is the Luster Matte Fora. A cream. Again, it's not meant to dry down like their counterparts. So we'll toss that. I don't need it. Butter gloss in the color Fortune Cookie. I don't use you. Let's get rid of you. It's very pinky. I don't wear very pinky colors. Creme brulee. I might keep you around. I'd wear you. Grish. It's a deep kind of fall perfect kind of color. That's really pretty. But it's got, it's almost like that too, that pinky purpley kind of red that I just, I don't find myself wearing, so. Boop, bye-bye. Okay, uh, Buxom Lip Gloss. Everyone had to have this. This is white Russian. Never realized it had a mint tint smell or something to it or plumper action. So it's pretty, but look how close those are. And I think that's the fortune cookie or eclair. Um, I'll try it because it costs a lot and a lot of things cost a lot of money, Megan, so that shouldn't be an excuse. But let's just see how that is. I haven't worn it, so there must be a reason why I didn't. I just can't remember why I haven't. This is, I think, a 100 point perk. Ugh, dust. Uh, this is an Anastasia, what are you, a lip gloss? Potion. Not a liquid lipstick. <sighs> That is vampy. Love that. That's stunning. Um, this is in the color Devil's Food Cake. It is a butter gloss. So this is kind of like the gloss version of Licorice. I'd be more apt to probably wear the gloss more so than the lipstick. This is the YSL Lip Oil. And I think this is in like a rose kind of color. You know what? <sighs> The concept was kind of interesting, but I just don't wear it, and it's just gonna go bad. So if it hasn't already, so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of them. We're gonna get rid of them. Yeah. Okay. Let's get rid of them. So let's do bite because I'm seeing lots of it in front of me. These are new. Um, these are the cream gloss, creme gloss. Make sure we pronounce it properly. 
Lavender Pearl and Blush Pearl. Gorgeous! Now, if you do not like sparkle, you are not going to like these at all. So this is like a silvery purple. And then the blush, it looks like nothing really, right, right, right? But there's the reflex of that pink in there with a little bit of gold. See, like, look at that. Look at that! It's not picking up on my monitor! Anyway, really nice. I like those a lot. So those are staying. Boom, bam. Uh, I like the multi sticks as well. This is in Sherry's. So I use this all over cheek, lip, I, you name it. Those are fairly new. That's not going anywhere. Um, and I have two more of the multi-sticks. Yes, I do. I have it in Gelato. Paya, corally color. Love it. Not going anywhere. This is Thistle. Oh my god, Megan. Start using these. Purpley, mauve pinky color. This is Movember 2016. They bring a special color out uh, for um, Men's Cancer Foundation. The, um, very different from what I'm used to wearing, to be honest with you, but I, I love the color, it's unique, and it went to went for a good cause. Uh, this is Kava. Kava and Thistle are s sisters, but I wouldn't say they're exactly the same. Thistle's a little bit darker, Kava is a little bit lighter. Um, yes, so those aren't going anywhere. And then I recently purchased Kale, which is a dark forest green. I don't know why I purchased it. I'm happy I purchased it. Look at all those cute little bullets and how you wear your lipsticks. Anyway, um, beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It looks like black, but it's actually green. Those aren't going anywhere. The one that might go somewhere is this one. This is Leche and Musk. It's a double end. Eh. Eh, we can toss that one. Ooh, Megan, you did so well. Okay, so that's Bite. My hands are permanently stained. These are new ones to my collection. This is NYX, I believe this is in Circe, and in Summer Love. Those are gonna be kept. Ooh, what are these? These are my nude sticks. Oh, these are new. I haven't had time to kind of test them out. Uh, this was a part of a little collection, I wanna say, at Christmas time. Um, there's the color Purity, Pixie, Belle, and I think there was another one. Purity, Pixie, and Belle. Oh, maybe there's only three. And Cheek, good Canadian company. Love supporting the Canadian cosmetics industry here. Help us to be innovative and, you know, cheers to you. Oh, you know what I forgot? From Bite Beauty. How could I forget this? My sister and I, this means so much to me. Obviously not, if I forgot about it. Okay, so this is a bes uh, what's called a bespoke um, lipstick. Uh, you can have, it's basically custom made for you. This is a, gloss, a glossy sheer lipstick that I made. Um, and I know you're gonna say, it looks exactly like everything else that you've purchased. Um, let's see how similar it is to, ooh, that's really soft. Um, <laughs> It's a very glossy, sheer texture, so that's that one. The experience was awesome, and I thought it was very cool, and I look forward to going back there and having some more made. And it was a very special experience. That's not going ever anywhere, so love you, Abby. Moving on to these two. This, these are Pearlies from Lime Crime. This is in the color Asphalt, a very metallic, purpley, silvery color. I like it, but they dry out my freaking lips. Roswell. So my sister and I have been on a hunt for this color that doesn't exist anymore. Um, and I thought maybe one of these would kind of replace it, but they don't. So, but they are still pretty nonetheless. That color was called, the one that I was trying to, I'm trying to get replaced or trying to find a dupe for it, it was called Platinum Lame, and it was a moon something. It was a Revlon line, and it was green. It was in the green packaging, and they smelled horrible. Um, these ones are matte. These are lip intensities. These aren't going anywhere. These are gorgeous. Love these. Let's see. Hopefully they haven't changed. 
No, they're nice. They're good. These are two Burberry. I don't care for them, to be honest with you. I have it in the color 09. Seriously, they're both the same color. Burberry Kisses 09, Tulip Pink, and Clover Blush. I like the packaging. They're just not colors I would wear being given away. Tom Ford. Oh, Tom Ford, how I'm disappointed. Um, this is the color Spanish Pink. Oh, I think you've gone bad. And that's, the, that's what I've been hearing. And honestly, it was not a favorite of mine to begin off with. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tommy. Um, this is a pro long wear. I don't even think they make these anymore. This was like a purple color from Mac. Put that right there. This is an Ardency Inn. This is black is blue. I think this is it's like a navy. Love it. 42 and Rimmel. A really nice nude color. Never really wear you. Let's ditch. Um, this is Matte Naked Milani. That's the only Milani lipstick I own. Um, this is like a brownie nudie pink. I need to wear that. That's fairly new. This is Midnight Blue Bold. And it's by Maybelline. And I think it's a matte. But it's like a purpley... It's more of an indigo, whereas the other one is actual a true navy. Because I wear those all the time. This is a color by Stila. It's called Meg. Hi. I'm a bit of a narcissist. Nice to meet you. Nice, nudie, balmy kind of pink. Barely see it on my skin, but it's right there. I'm keeping it around because it's the only thing I have with my name on it. Okay, this little collection. See how dusty it is? It just shows you how much I wear these lipsticks. Or how often. Tea time. Cheers. This is in the color Black Orchid. This is my first Laura Mercier color. It is kind of a glaze. Again, I might keep this around just because I want to do a tag on um, first ups um, and your first exposure to what was your first product. Your, so that's not going anywhere. That's really pretty. This is Illa Masca. This is Control. It's a deep, um, dark, matte purple. I think this is my first Illa Masca product. So I want, again, just keeping it for that. This is from, oh my god, this is old. This is Clarins. That's got to go. I love Clarins, by the way. Um, this is in the color, this is a Rouge Volupte by YSL in the color 1. The packaging is just delightful and luxurious looking, so I can't really get rid of that quite yet. Um, this is old, old packaging from Kat Von D. I believe it's called um, Home Girl, I want to say. I can't tell. Painted Love Lipstick. That's how old. They're not even the studded kiss. Um, this was my first Kat Von D product. So again, keeping in the tradition of... Oh, that's actually really nice. First product. I'm going to have to keep that. Chanel Rouge Noir. I'll have to trust you out. That's Rouge Noir. This is Paris Pretty Red. That's nice red. And I think this is kind of um, a different one. This is called Boy. I think this was a popular color at one point too. That's a glossy balmy. We're going to get rid of you. These are two Armani colors, 506 and 103. I think they're kind of a nude. One's more of a balmy, one is more of a creamy. I'm going to get rid of you. Black Cherry. This is a Revlon... Super lustrous, yeah. This is a fantastic formulation, by the way, folks. Um, look at that. It's like Rouge Noir. Yeah, we're going to keep that. That's pretty. Although you can probably find it. Uh, it's not that old, I don't think. Um, these are from Estee Lauder. I don't have a lot of Estee Lauder stuff. Oh, that's really pretty. And this is kind of like that transition. Um, gunmetal. It's a luminizer, but you can, it transitions colors. Let's see. But it's that gray sparkly. Oh, can't even see it. It's that gray sparkly transition. Can't even tell. These are Dior. These are actually really nice. I'm not going to lie. This is in the color 
um, ex it's extreme 316 Beautiful nude. I need to wear these because these are absolutely gorgeous. 214 Tulle. These are more up my alley. They're balmy. They're nice. This is what I would wear on my lips, like on a day to day basis. Um, this is the color Ferro 971. So, not doing so shit hot. Um, excuse the, you know, language, but that's how I talk. Um, with getting rid of lipsticks. This is the color 745 New Look. Oh, look at that orangey red. Oh, gorgeous. Do you smell okay? You smell okay. So that's beautiful. And I think this one is one of the ones I used to wear a lot. This is Miss Dior. Kind of a peachy nude kind of color. So those are staying. And this is one I don't wear, and this is the SPF Lip Glow. Again, works with your pH. No. <laughs> okay, so we are going to toss you. Okay, my hand has seen better days. Shall we tackle what is MAC? Okay, so these are limited editions. I generally don't like to throw out limited editions, to be honest with you. Um, those aren't going anywhere. I'll tackle these ones up front. These are the mineralized, rich, supernova, and ionized. One is a gray, which I think is super neat. Um, that's not going anywhere. And this is supernova, which is a super pale kind of, kind of finish. That's not going anywhere. I don't know how much wear I'll get out of them, but they're just, they're too neat and they're too, um, I love the formulation. Those are nice too. This one's called Antique Velvet. Oh, gorgeous. I think that's fairly new. Beautiful. Not going anywhere. Okay. I have a feeling that this is going to be hard for me. Goss, uh, Gossamer Wing. This is new. It's a very... It's, I picked it up with the new Nicki Minaj nudes around Christmas time. It's a very sheer... Looks like kind of like a, like a fairy wing, if you, if you will. Um, oh, there's my other earring. Okay, we'll put you over there. Um, this is Bosom Friend. Again, this is part of that line. A little bit more of opaque, nudie. It's not even showing up on my skin. That's it right there. This one is Japanese Maple. Beautiful nude. Very peachy orange, so that might go. This is Mean Green Machine. It's a matte. It was part of a... Hmm whole line so it's a it's a dark it's not like well it kind of looks like kale but it's um it's not even picking up on the on the viewfinder at all but it's a deep matte green put you to the side i don't like that play-doh smell the other one here is designer blue it's like a denim metallic blue color not the most pigmented it's a frost i'm gonna put you there with the that green machine doesn't have the same Mac scent. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean? That pretty vanilla. This is flesh pot. Stick it around. Uh, creme de nude. One of my favorites. Not going anywhere. This is new-ish. This is Arrowhead. This was took such flack. This whole line. I understand. I understand why. But I like that color. And it's a limited edition. Uh, pure Zen. Nope. Nope. That's pretty. Blankety. Nope. Wow. Megan, you're doing, you're doing top notch. So this is a uh, limited edition as well. This is beauty. It's a glaze. I don't, don't think they make glazes anymore. No, that's not going anywhere. It's like a pinky color. Snob. Back to Mac you go. Innocence beware. How many of these tones can I have? Oh, I like that. That's have a little more pinky. Okay, those are staying. Gleam, one of my favorites. It's like a pinky, pinky brown. That around. Politely pink. Some things I just have to try out too. I think I have to. Uh, mildly creative. And then this is a limited edition. This is, you got it. Look at the frost on that one. Yeah. It has like a gold duochrome pink shimmer. 
that's a holiday collection one, so that's not going anywhere. This is Feed the Senses. It's like a pinky move. Uh, Hue, maybe. Plink, one of my favorites. And kind of sexy. It's a nice matte, corally color. So this is Sofisto. Up the amp. Never gonna wear it. I guarantee you that. No. Back to Mac for you. Plum Dandy. But I don't think I wear you. By design, Fru. It's a very, very frosty, pinky. Am I even gonna wear that? Maybe it's a topper. I don't know, man. These are, it's not easy. Oh, oh, God, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, metallic, bronzy, ready. Really interesting color. Stone, matte, gray, brown. Amorous. Oh, I don't like the color. I don't like the smell of you. Pink plaid. I remember watching Bailey, Bailey Vander Bean. I think that's her name. She loved pink plaid. And it's a nice matte. It's a pretty color. I just never wear this color. Never gonna wear it. Okay, so this is the color Del Rio. This was a back to Mac, I can tell, because there's a big old X on the bottom. So that's really pretty. That's not going anywhere. Viva Glam. Cindy. It's a luster. This was a limited edition. That's not going anywhere. Matte Royale. So this is like a purpley matte color. This one is Lady Danger. Classic, classic MAC color. It is a red-orange color. That's nice. Runway Hit. Ladybug. Love this color. Super cute. It's a luster. It's like a bricky, bricky red. Ladybug color. Fluid. Dare you. Oh. <laughs> Sumptuous, sexy color. Next is Ruby Woo. Classic. Look at that red. It's matte. Um, more in the cooler tone. But that is nice. So those aren't going anywhere. This is Coral Bliss. Pretty, pretty for summer. This is Fleur de Coral. Very light, corally. Another corally kind of peachy color. This is Ravishing. This is a deep kind of orangey, but a very wearable orange. This is neon orange, and it's not even doing it justice to, uh, in the monitor here. <laughs> this is a neon, like neon, neon. I can't ever see myself wearing that. Peace out. <laughs> Innocence. Again, this is, I think, part of a limited edition content, different packaging. That's a really pretty orange. Now that I would wear. pre raphaelite light. That is stunning. And that's not going anywhere. Faux. Brownie orange. Wearable. This color really me. I'm liking the mattes lately, yeah? Looks like it. Okay. This is Mare. So I'm getting rid of some of them. Uh, this is On and On. Uh, are you serious? I bought the two of them. Very sparkly. Uh, blue brown. Uh, lightly charred. I believe this is kind of a gray. Yeah. So now we're getting to ones that when I purchased them already had a funky kind of scent to them. So I have enough of this color I feel in many different things. Bye. I don't need that many. Okay. Uh, this is In the Spirit. I think this is a black. Bye In the Spirit. Fault, uh, faultlessly FW. Beautiful. I remember when I purchased this. Oh, oh, have you turned? This is Dominate. Dominate. Cyber. You are gorgeous. You are kind of patchy. But I love you anyway. This is not going anywhere either. This is Dramatic Encounter. It is a limited edition. You know how I feel about limited editions. And very similar to Cyber. It goes on much more. It goes creamier and it's an amplified cream. So that's why. These are This is Aviva Glam through 2. Nude. These are, this is a limited edition, soft sable, that, it's that color, it's that color, so that's not going anywhere. Twir Whirls and twirls and double spin. So this was, I think, that ice collection. This is a super, super light pastel color, and this is, I think this is like a, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, well, I've already got two. Okay, that's gonna go back to Mac. Do. Uh, I don't know how I feel about you, do. This is Deep Rooted. Another kind of brownie kind of color. It's nice though. 
thought these ones were gonna go for sure. Dream Pot. Oh, wow. It's like that jawbreaker kind of color. Very patchy from when I remember. Oh, they're going really nicely over that oil. Um, Honey Love. As you can imagine, it's a browny, uh, yellowy, tan, nudie color. I don't know if I can even pull that off, to be honest with you. I have to try it. And this is smoked purple. It's like a, as you would think, a smoky, smoky purple. Like Sin. Oh, Sin. Very similar to Diva. Not keeping Diva. And I'm not keeping any other colors that are similar to that. So we shall keep. So I've, I've brought out some other things that I remembered that I had stashed elsewhere or um, are new. So I want to make sure I talked about them. These are from a company called um, Portland Black Lipstick Company. I had three of their colors in Black Lagoon, Indigo Bridge, and Pewter Cauldron. I actually really liked them. Um, they had um, a menthol and, and I think a car carmine in them. The colors they had were really kind of funky. I really liked the Indigo Bridge. It was a beautiful blue-black. Uh, Lagoon was a really cool tealy, um, tealy green, which is here. Um, however, they have dried out, and which makes me very sad, so I didn't really get to play with them all that much, and then I have all these like tiny little samples, so um, these are no good. I'm going to have to get rid of them, and bye-bye. Okay, this is new. This is the Fenty Beauty. I don't have much. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, uh, so this isn't going anywhere. This is brand new. I feel like the packaging now that I have it in my hand feels a little cheap. Not gonna lie. It's kind of neat and geometric. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. Um, and I have it in the color uh, Freckle Fiesta, I think it's called. Oh my god, that printing is so small. Yeah, Freckle Fiesta. Really pretty kind of terracotta brick uh, burnt color. Um, so I'll do a review on that. This is new too. Uh, I decided to try these out on the recommendation of Samantha Jane here on YouTube. This is in the color uh, 705 HD Dawn. It's the Revlon Gel. These really smooth, really creamy. They really are nice on the lip. Um, I want to test it out a little more before I make a decision on whether or not we're going to keep it. Another color here from Maybelline's is Truffle Tees. I thought I had another one called Bear Beige or something like that, but anyway. This is a beautiful nude color. Uh, this isn't kind of going anywhere. Um, this has a nice scent to it. I generally don't like scented products, but you know. Uh, what else do we have here? This is another lip intensity that I just recently purchased in this color. I believe is Smoked Almond. I'm looking forward to playing with that. It's a retro matte liquid lip color and it's more of a metallic. This is in Gems and Roses. Brick Dust. This is another lip intensity. I really like the lip intensity formulation. Um, oh, wow, that's really close to... <laughs> I love it when I almost get duplicate colors. So Brick Dust and Smoked Almond are very, very similar in shades. Oh, Megan, you're so silly. Uh, and this is that on and on color that I've that I so swatched earlier. And then lastly, I have uh, the color chili. This is, and I got this one from a back to Mac. So those are staying. Those aren't going anywhere. Thanks for watching, guys, and um, I hope you enjoyed this series. And leave your comments, subscribe, and uh, bye.